Nothing divides electricians more than LED downlights. Do you fit integral units where the LED module and driver are combined as a single package? Or do you still opt for the traditional lamp and can approach? I recently conducted a quick poll within the eFix electricians community to gather their insights. And I received an overwhelming response from over 1800 electricians. And I'm very grateful for their valuable input. And here are the results. 56% of electricians prefer fitting integrated downlights, while 34% still opt for lamps and cans. Interestingly, 11% have used alternatives like pendants, or what we used to call the big light in the Northeast where I grew up. The eFix community are never backward in sharing an opinion, and accompanying the poll are some fantastic comments, especially this one from Paul Durkin. A separate lamp allows for replacement without having to change the fitting. It's not always easy to find a fitting that matches the existing ones. It's also less wasteful. Sounds like the voice of experience. We'll come back to that issue of waste and hopefully what is a new trend later in the video. More life experience shared by Rise Agent, assuming that's not your birth name. Integrated technology is for short-sighted people or people that get their jollies from pain. Hmm, we do share your pain. Who hasn't experienced the painful twang of a downlight spring on the back of a finger? In my opinion, when it comes to choosing a lighting method, it depends on the application. Integrated fittings generally have a longer rated life than LED lamps because it's difficult to manage heat dissipation within the limited space of a lamp. And this problem can be exacerbated when installed within a sealed fixture. This may not be a problem in an area such as a bathroom or toilet where the lighting is typically used for short periods of time and 25,000 hours could equate to decades of use. Alternatively, in a kitchen or commercial application such as hotel corridor, life and efficiency are important as the lights could be on for most of the day. But even with a fixture life of 50,000 hours, at some point, maintenance will be required, as that's just under six years of continuous use, which is nothing compared to the life of a building. However, do you have to make this compromise? What if you could have the ease of maintenance of a lamp combined with the robust design of an integrated fixture? Well, here it is, the award-winning GeoMod system from Bell Lighting, and it's comprised of two components. Firstly, let's focus on the fixture side, which boasts numerous installer-friendly features. One notable feature is the two-part connector designed to streamline electrical testing. The absence of screws for the terminals and cable clamps also ensures a hassle-free installation process. Moreover, the clear back facilitates effortless visual inspection. The fixture is approved for use in engineered timber ceilings and can be covered with a loft insulation. Then we have the lighting module, which at first you may think looks like a lamp, and electricians of a certain age may think this resembles the GX53 lamp format, which was popular for cabinet lighting in a time before LED. The difference here is on the back of the module. This thermal contact pad connects with the metalwork to aid heat dissipation and improve long-term performance when it's inserted into the fixture body. The GeoMod has built-in flexibility and can switch select color temperatures between 2,700 and 6,000 Kelvin, which is great for those rare occasions when the customer changes their mind. When fully assembled into the fixture, the assembly is rated to IP65 and it is mains dimmable. So everything you'd expect to see in a quality downlight. However, to revisit that earlier comment by Paul and the question of waste, the fixture itself stays in the ceiling for the installation's life. When it comes to maintenance, you remove the bezel, click out the LED module and return it to Bell Lighting for remanufacturing. You'll even notice a warning on the side of the unit that says do not dispose or recycle. 90% of the parts in the module can be reused or remanufactured. The QR code on the side helps to explain the process and where to obtain a replacement module. Now this trend is known as the circular economy in lighting. It involves reusing materials instead of sending them to recycling or landfill. Remanufacturing and circularity are covered in a standard called TM66. I'll leave a link in the description to that standard, along with details of the GeoMod range. The GeoMod has been independently assessed by the LIA and is rated excellent for its circularity. So does this innovation from Bell Lighting mean you no longer need to choose between a lamp 
and an integral fixture? Is this a positive step for the environment? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to continue your lighting journey and discover more ways to save energy, check out the video which is on screen now.